Well, hello everybody. It's feeding time in the Matero home for the kitties. Kitty cat food time. Come on. We're going to pop a can tonight. Come on, Mozart. We're going to pop a can and you got to lick the lid. Come on, Mozart. Mozart, come on. We have our dish ready over here. Uh, I have, We are going to pop a new can tonight. So let's go up in our cabinet up here and see what we got for dinner tonight. Uh, okay. Mariners catch. They love their fish. Yes, they do. Okay, we'll see if they do a good job eating their food tonight. Um, come on, Mozart. You got to jump on the counter here, like usual. Come on. Come on, Mozart. Come get your kitty cat food. Come on, Mozart. Come on, Mozart. Come on up. Come on. Mozart always has to go up on the counter. Uh, he's a little bit hard to feed. And... Um, he doesn't always eat his food and he tends to run away. Any little noise, any little movement of me around the kitchen, and this little guy runs away and doesn't eat his kitty cat food. But uh, this is nighttime feeding time. During the day, they're allowed to free feed with their uh, dry food. Uh, but at night, we have our wet food, which in this case is Frisky's Mariner Catch. Uh, now, I might have to put the camera down while I pop the can, uh, but I hope to show you uh, Mozart licking the lid. He loves to do that. Um, you know, but we go through a little routine and he loves it, so I hope I get to show you that. So, give me a second while I put down the camera. Okay, and let's get your treats out and open them up. And come on, Mr. Mozart, let's pop the can here. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get the camera. Okay, wait, wait, Mozart. No, he's he's eating that instead. Wait a minute. Nope, instead of the can. Wait a minute, Mozart, Mozart. Come on, lick the lid. Lick the lid like a good kitty. That's right. Lick the lid like a good kitty. Ah, oh, we have how we love to lick the lid of a new can. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Of course, he will go back to the can of food when he thinks he's done here. I'm going to throw it in the garbage. Okay. And here we go. And okay, come on, Beethoven. He Beethoven goes after my feet here. And um, okay, now what I usually do, if I can move Mr. Mozart out of the way, come here, Mr. Mozart. I gotta, I, I gotta split the food up into fours here, and then we put one quarter on the plate and split the one quarter into eighths and each kitty gets one quarter and um you know but of course mr mozart will get what he can out of it here uh being he's so finicky that's the only reason i let him do this because he's sure to run away not long after i put the food down or god forbid i make a noise or whatever this cat will stop eating and um then beethoven like eats everything he, he eats everybody's food so so beethoven stays on the floor there while i get the food out of here and put it on the plate um okay mozart just a second here okay somebody's gonna get gypped let's see all right well that's the best i could do right now and we have our friskies party mix and our treats so of course we put a few treats in there for them on each side a little bit for each one and then we put this down on the floor and here's Mr. Beethoven. Now, Mr. Beethoven will let you know when he is hungry. He will let you, he is very vocal about everything. But as, as much as he is vocal and as hungry as he might be, uh, you have to put the food like right in front of him and he might not even eat it. Like you might have to pick him up and stick him right in front of the food. 
So we will see if he like eats it or if I have to get him closer. Now he's eating it. Okay, Mr. Mozart's still up here. Let's see if he will eat his food without running away. Okay. Oh no, Mozart, get over here and eat your food. Bad boy. Well, uh, we're having an unsuccessful feed, but um, Mozart will come over and finish. Um, that is if like Beethoven doesn't eat the whole thing. Um, but of course there's dry food in case Mozart wants to eat his wet food. He loves his wet food. I, I don't know, he's done this in the last month where he runs away. So I, uh, I don't know, but um, yeah, that's, that's feeding time in the Matero house and this is how it usually ends up. Or, you know, Mozart might start eating, but once I like walk away, you know, if I get my footsteps get too close to him, well, then he runs away too. Every, Mozart runs away at everything. If you sneeze, if you cough, he runs away. Uh, but if you sneeze, he cries and runs away. But um, if you cough or clear your throat or whatever, then he just runs away without crying or anything. Uh, so anyway, uh, I will leave Beethoven to eat his food and probably part of Mozart's. Um, I will leave the plate out here for several hours. You, usually Mozart, I mean Beethoven won't eat the whole thing in like one sitting. Um, he'll come back a few times and you know every half an hour or something eat a little more. Um, but he won't finish it all. So Mozart will get out here but he's a scaredy cat and he's shy and um, has to be on his terms. But, you know, that's the way cats are. So, uh, anyway, that's nighttime feeding in the Mataro home. All right, take care, everybody. Merry Christmas. Have a good night now. Bye-bye.